Hey yo, so what happened to Young Bands? I can't even lie, I was really vibing to his music last project, Misunderstood. Especially the song Ready, Set, Go. Some say the reason according to the naysayers, Young Bands career went from zero to buried alive faster than you can even say mic drop. They claim he scammed his way through multiple feature deals and got tangled up on some age-related messiness, which is an L definitely for a grown man. And not to mention butting heads with the king of hip-hop media, DJ Academics, which I'll definitely touch on a bit later here. Talk about stepping into a minefield with roller skates on. So let's talk about Young Bands and his master plan to sabotage his own career. He had the golden opportunity to be signed by Future, the man himself. Instead of riding that wave to stardom, Young Bands decided to take a detour down the road of self-sabotage. And hold on tight because it gets even more ridiculous. His last project featured heavyweights like XX and Tassion, Future, O3 Greedo, Young Thug, YNW Melly, and Gunna, just to name a few. I mean, come on, that's like assembling a superstar squad for Avengers movie. Yet somehow Young Bands managed to turn his opportunity into a hilarious spectacle of a career chaos. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer audacity of his comical masterpiece. It's like watching a magic trick gone wrong, where the magician pulls a rabbit out of the hat only for it to escape and wreak havoc on the audience. Young Bands is a master of musical missteps, and we're all just here for the show, honestly. Let's break down where we messed up though. So our buddy Vaz Coleman, aka the man with a plan, was born in the rabid city of St. Louis, Missouri. But like a cool looking bird search for opportunities, he spread his wings and flew south to the cold streets of Atlanta, Georgia during the seventh grade. Now Vass isn't just an ordinary high school attendee, he graced the halls of Langston Hughes High School, soaking up knowledge and perhaps even dropping a few sick freestyles during recess. But that's not all, our man Vass has also ventured to Virgil Grissom High School in Huntsville AL, proving that he's got the moves to make waves in different zip codes. Let's not forget about his influences. One cannot underestimate the power of Lil Wayne's impact on the musical universe. Coleman, a budding rapper, started spitting rhymes back in the sixth grade under the glorious name Bam Boy. That's right, Bam Boy, the simple lyric flow sensation that had all the lunchroom ladies swooning. It wasn't until high school that Coleman decided to take the rap game to the next level, leaving his basketball dreams behind. And let's talk about his debut single, a collaboration with none other than the legendary Playboy Cardi. It was a match made in hip hop heaven, and the track was appropriately titled Four Teaspoon. Because why settle for regular old spoon when you can have a four time masterpiece, right? And leads the track upon the world on May 21st, 2015, forever changing the way that we look at cutlery. Coleman's star power continued to rise as he teamed up with Ski Master Slump God in the late XX and Tassie on track. I love it when they run. It's like a tongue twister of a song title, perfectly capturing the essence of a chaotic charm. And let's not forget about his collaboration with Smoke Perp and the single Damage. Coleman was on a roll, leaving a trail of destruction in his wake. Fast forward to December 2017 when Coleman decided to unleash not one, but two extended plays upon the world. The projects were titled Young Bands and Young Bands Volume 2. In summer of 2018, Coleman dropped the infectious band and riding, featuring YB and Namir and Landon Cube. It was a perfect anthem for cruising with the windows down, turning heads, whatever you want. And just when you thought Coleman couldn't get any more prolific, he unleashed a series of projects. Young Bands Volume 3, Young Bands Volume 4, and Young Bands Volume 5. Finally, in July 2019, Coleman dropped a debut studio album titled Misunderstood. It was a masterpiece in my opinion, but that leaves right now where Young Bands is at. And where are you, Young Bands? But it turns out there's some dark reasons why he's been kind of disappearing. It really all started when Young Bands claimed to be an independent artist and dropping his debut project, Misunderstood. But unfortunately, it sold less than 10k first week copies. As DJ Academics always does, he reports the first week sales. But it really started when Young Bands called DJ Academics saying he was the feds. And DJ Academics didn't take that kindly. So when the album dropped, DJ Academics had a lot to say via tweets saying, Young Bands failed to sell 10k first week sales with Misunderstood, despite acting fake independent. And by the way, he's actually signed to a major. You can't stop that lie. The beef kicked off again months later when Little Yachty claimed Bands stole the idea from Little Boat's debut album, Teenage Emotion. Academics chimed in and the two went back and forth again that summer. There's also been multiple allegations of young bands scamming young and upcoming artists for features. I'm not going to go too in depth on that because there's many videos already talking about that. 
as well there's been rumors of him having relations with underage minors as well again i'm not gonna really get into that as well as for young bands it's obvious he just gave up because he wasn't able to sell with music and whenever he made a move dj academics made sure that he absolutely failed 